The Wine Glass Marathon is just days away, and those participating have been training for months. That includes one 11-year-old girl from Painted Post who's been through a marathon of other obstacles before. WNY's Isabel Garcia joins us in the studio to introduce the young athlete and has more about her journey. Hi there guys, at the age of two, Ariana Manning was diagnosed with Engelman syndrome, a rare genetic disorder which causes epilepsy, sleep disorders, and seriously affects motor skills. For the past five years, the sixth grader has volunteered at the Wineglass Marathon through her Girl Scout troop, handing out water bottles to the runners. This year, Ariana's passion for running gave her the ambition to participate as one of the athletes. Ariana got such a positive reaction from it. You could see that she enjoyed it so much with the wind in her hair. She loves watching the runners and she will actually make me pull over and stop if she sees uh, an event going on and she'll want to cheer on the runners. And when she's running with them, she's constantly holding her hand out and cheering them on and clapping for them. Ariana will be participating in the half marathon on Sunday's race with her team, Miles for Smiles, and her biggest supporter, her mother, Stephanie. While this is Ariana's first wine glass marathon as an athlete, she's completed other races in the past from multiple 5Ks to a 10K run. She'll be pushed in a three-wheel tandem cart, which still requires her to prepare physically. It takes her body training too because she has to learn the different cues of when to put her feet up, keeping her hands in, um, and positioning her body for a two to four hour race. Um, you think we're, we're constantly moving our body, our bodies are made to move, and she isn't moving the same way that we are. Ariana's mom believes Sunday's race will not only positively impact her daughter's experience in the sport of running, but everyone else participating as well. She's a really nice inspiration, especially if you're getting tired and you, you just don't think you want to go, go on any further. Um, you look down and you see her smiling. You're like, okay, I can do this. If she can, you know, walk up the stairs at school every day, which is a really hard thing for her to do, I can make it through this next mile. Stephanie anticipates Ariana's ability to participate in the marathon will also impact the community as a whole. I think it's important that members of the community understand that this is an opportunity to include somebody who truly loves the sport of racing but isn't actually able to do it with her own legs. We're taking the opportunity to have surrogate runners to help her experience what it feels like to be a part of the sport that she loves so much and she appreciates so much. Ariana and her mother say the next goal is to train for a full marathon. In the studio, Isabel Garcia, WENY News.